Good morning, babies. Good morning. Y'all ready to eat? Hey. You say good morning, bear. All right, you gonna go first, dude? I think they're finally getting sturdy enough that I can probably feed them both at the same time. Hold on. <laughs> hey, can I do the claw? Yeah, you can feed the girl. <laughs> this little tail's wagon. Oh, how's her leg? Um, she's hobbling a little bit, but she's she's a lot better. She's able to stand up on her own. Mister, what's her name? Mercy. You felt All right, Mercy girl. Here you go. Yeah, just pull him over there and pet him. Careful, careful. I'll pick him up. Got him. <laughs> All right, you can put him back in there. <laughs> there you go. Let me go back. Yeah, Bear is a nice uncle. Man, is Big Max big enough to hop up on that? I know. He's, it's about time for them to go outside. I just want to make sure they're good and sturdy. I'm actually doing this vlog a little bit backwards. Um, I want to show you guys the footage I shot yesterday uh, on Toby's birthday. But I got a lot of messages yesterday asking about our little rescue babies. And I wanted you guys to see it. I was going to make you wait to see that they're doing just fine. Well, I'd like to introduce you guys to Mr. Mac. Uh, Mackenzie is his name and this little lady is called Mercy and we are planning on keeping both of these babies <laughs> obviously they're doing great um, <laughs> they're bumping on the tripod she still has a little bit of a limp uh, we do have her leg wrapped to reinforce it and um, it got a little disjointed whenever she was born um, because we were having to pull on whatever we could to try to get her out I have full confidence that she's going to make a full recovery. Their mom is doing great. This story ended up having a happy ending. So yesterday was Toby's ninth birthday. I'm going to show you guys the footage we shot yesterday. <laughs> you ready, homie? You ready to go fishing? <laughs> Updates on the farm today. Toby Hello. is nine years old. Today is his birthday and we are going fly fishing. That rock? Right in front of the rock. Ooh, that's a good one. Alright, bring it up. And back down towards the middle. Oh, I see oh that's that good. Yeah, there you see the Pay attention, pay attention. Oh, he's not here yet. Oh. There you go, keep going. Yeah. yeah! That's a good fish. That's an 18 incher right there, buddy. This is a rainbow shot? This is a rainbow, yeah. Rainbow shots are my favorite. Kind of Those are your favorite? You know why? Because they let you catch them. Yep, this guy's huge. All right, here, put him back in here. You wanna give him a kiss? Yeah, good job. <laughs> so I've made videos here before. Obviously, I don't make a lot of fishing content. That's not really the focus of my channel. However, I do show our life. Uh, my brother is an avid fly fisherman and has been teaching me over the last couple of years as well as teaching my kids. And Toby, of all my children, has really fallen in love with fly fishing in a big way. And today's his ninth birthday and all he wanted to do was go fishing with Uncle Drew, so here we are. Now, Arkansas fly fishing is kind of a big deal here, and uh, we have several areas where we have hydroelectric dams which create the right conditions for trout streams. And this particular stream is called Dry Run Creek. It's in Norfolk, Arkansas. If you are ever looking for a place to take your kids, it is a youth creek, so it's for people who are under the age of 16 or who are mobility impaired. And they've got all these lovely decks which make it wheelchair accessible. It's a really, really cool place and there's always great fish in here. And Toby's had a great day fishing with his uncle. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay, but I... Yes, let him go. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
Toby, Toby. everyone here thinks you're the man now. <laughs> Hold on just a second, Toby. Hold on. We're going to let him breathe for a second and then we'll pick him up, okay? Awesome. Yeah, good job, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> good work. That fish fought back, huh? Look at how pretty that cheek is, huh? Look at all that blue. Hold his tail tight. Hold him up so Ooh, I can see him. That's a big guy. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, that's a good so fish, lovely. Toby. Look at how pretty he is. He is beautiful. He's so golden. Yeah, here, put all him right. in. He's going he gonna to be ready to breathe. So let him slowly and let him swim away. Good job, buddy. I just got done milking the goats and we have some friends here I want to introduce you guys to. Okay guys, I'm outside now and I want to introduce you guys to Jordan. Working Aussie's Homestead, is that correct? Yep. They have a YouTube channel and we met through the YouTube community, really through Facebook. And they were coming through from North Carolina mm -hmm. and we invited them to come out and see the farm. Will you tell our viewers kind of about what y'all do? Yeah. Uh, so we have a very small homestead. We just have an acre and a quarter. And we raise um, both meat and egg laying chickens. And then we also have kuni kuni pigs. We have rabbits, uh, turkeys occasionally. And then we also have many La Mancha dairy goats. Awesome. So, and then five Australian shepherds. Yeah, yeah. And so they do, they, they breed working dogs, which is really, really cool. And uh, they actually were traveling through delivering a puppy. And mm -hmm. so they came by. But what I love about what you guys are doing and what I love to hook my viewers up with people who are doing this is you guys are doing a lot on a small, smallish space. You know, I know for a lot of people you would just love to sink your teeth into an acre and a half. But I like that that challenges the mindset that you don't, you don't have to go buy a 20 acre farm mm -hmm. to be able to grow a pretty significant amount of food. Right. Yeah. And that was something recently we did a video on how much, how many pounds of meat we raised last year. And it was crazy i want to say it was like maybe 800 pounds that's crazy something like yeah. that but you know and then we also have an 18 maybe 1800 or 2000 square foot garden yeah and you know we didn't grow up gardening or yeah. farming and so it's been a fun endeavor that we started you know back in august of 2019 so that's awesome still well, new in it i'm really glad you guys got to come by and see our place and hopefully one day we can get out there and see yours absolutely <laughs> um so we were actually out here in the high tunnel uh jeremiah's taking josh around and showing him fencing yeah. <laughs> and we were out here discussing the soil in my high tunnel which has been a problem i've had a really hard time regulating moisture and keeping the soil full of life and we were just discussing how important soil is in a garden. Yeah, that was the first thing we did when we got our property was we did a soil test to know what we needed to add it because our property is in the middle of kind of like right in the middle of the plain sandy area in yeah. North Carolina and so a lot of our soil is super sandy, doesn't hold water and it's in a very agricultural area where they farm and farm and farm and farm and don't ever give the ground rest and so we knew coming into it that we'd have to kind of do things differently yeah and figure out you know what we could naturally add to the soil you know by running chickens on it by yeah. running pigs and goats and uh, rabbits on it and then also what nutrients we needed to add like adding in some lime or adding yeah. in some um, we've got some alfalfa meal I just had somebody the other day comment on a live asking about using alfalfa as a fertilizer and I was like you know I've never done that that's really fascinating so it's yeah. cool that you mentioned that I was actually just researching it like a few days ago mm -hmm. that's really cool mm -hmm. hey guys so this has been like the most drawn out vlog I think this has spanned over three days now obviously we took some time off this week we had a really rough week after all the loss we shared that with you guys our little uh, baby goats are still doing very well and uh, ended up having to have some unexpected dental work done yesterday. I'm on the mend 
and um, we're looking forward to swinging back into regular content. Actually, this is the time of year that I usually transition into making more content even more than every other day. So you have more videos to look forward to, more garden stuff coming up, as well as a few more goats that are ready to drop their kids any minute now. And just all around the bounty and beauty of spring on the homestead. It is just the most magical time of year. And I'm so thankful to be back into it. The weather's warming up. The 10 day forecast, we don't have a single freeze in the 10 day forecast, which is pretty exciting. And I'm ready to really get some food in the ground and uh, just get going on the next season of the farm. Thank you guys for all of your support this week, all of your kindness and prayers with the hard week that we went through. I hope you enjoyed this video where we visited with friends and took little Tobias fishing for his ninth birthday. I bless you guys. Until next time.